Hi guys, still on family vacation and we're going to talk about another topic in weight loss. Today we're going to talk about changing metabolic needs during life and how that can impact your weight. We're in the sequoia forest and just as kind of an example, this small sapling here has obviously a different metabolic need than the general Sherman, the largest tree in the world. It's quite an incredible tree, but we're going to continue to talk about that and about some pointers how we can avoid what seems to be inevitable weight gain as we reach middle age and beyond. So what are these age-related metabolic changes we see through life? We've all seen it with our kids. They hit the, hit the teenage years. They seem like bottomless pits. Get to the mid-20s, things begin to change. The body's no longer growing tall, not building new muscle things begin to slow down. This is where we first start experiencing our slowdowns in metabolism. It just tends to get worse. We get down to the 40s. Everybody says 40s, things begin to fall apart. We start seeing it in our metabolism. It just goes downhill from there. But the age-related changes aren't as big as most people think. Small changes in metabolism make huge changes in our weight over time if we don't compensate for it. Most people know the rule of 100. 100 calories a day difference, either in intake, slowing metabolism, decreases in activity, makes 10 pounds a year difference on the scale. That's kind of scary. Life happens, we, our activity levels drop as we get a job, take care of kids, take care of sick loved ones. We get to later stages in life, we have a little bit more disposable income. We start eating out more, enjoying some of the finer things in life. All of these things can conspire to kind of work against us when we're trying to maintain our weight. This brings us to the main point, which is we've got to do little things to help compensate for these small changes in metabolism that feel huge. Watch out for the random snacking, the little small additional serving sizes we take. All of that can add up to 100 calories or more, hundreds of calories or more a day. Trying to maintain activity level. Those recommendations of try to get at least 10,000 steps per day are awesome, but don't just limit your activity to just 10,000 if you can do more. Watch those small things. That will make a huge difference over time. I call them the five and $10 credit card charges. Looking at them individually, they don't seem to make a big deal. But when you put them all together, increases in activity, watching your portion sizes, the small random snackings, this will go a long way to helping you maintaining a healthy and desirable weight as you age.